At risk of sounding like a broken record, I need everyone within the sound of my voice in the state of Florida to stop what you're doing and listen to this video. I know most of you are probably already aware of Hurricane Milton and the track that it's going to take, but there's a specific piece of information they are leaving out of all of the predictions, and it's only something you would know if you lived here in Florida. I want to show this to you on a map. It is a very rare west to east moving hurricane. Most of the hurricanes that come in aren't behaving like this one. And where this is going to hit is going to put Florida in blackout conditions for a very long time. Now, real quick, as always, gratitude, thank you to everyone who continues to join us over at the Patreon channel. God bless all of you. we got a lot of brand new content over there. Um, at least three or four new videos in the last week to 10 days. Lots of great stuff. Not for everybody, but if you'd like to join us over there, you could sure use the help. It's only one single US dollar per month at the very base level, and you can actually pay less than that if you sign up for an entire year and fully refundable all the way into next year. What does that mean? Well, you can sign up and you can watch all the hundreds and hundreds of videos that have never been seen on YouTube over there for the next three months, all the way into the beginning of January. And if at that time it's not for you, you can request a full refund of all of your pledge and it'll come right back at you, no questions asked. It's a one, five, 10, and $15 level. For those of you the 10 and 15, brand new videos, thank you for signing up over there. Very, very much appreciate it. It's gonna make a huge, huge difference in my life. Now, real quick, I'm just gonna get right to it. Gasoline, some type of a way to generate power, some type of a small air conditioner just to even keep one room air conditioned in your home, and cash. Do it now, do it today. Why? What's what's the big secret? What's going on? What's going on? Well, once again, this is one of these very, very rare west to east moving hurricanes. Now, they're, they're, it's Tropical Storm Milton, but it's going to be building to a hurricane level. And they're showing the track, and people are like, okay, you know, hurricane hits Florida, News at 11. What's the big deal about this one? Why is this one going to be so bad? Well, they're saying hurricane, level three hurricane with category four gusts. It's where this track is taking it west to east, directly through the center part of the state. Now, why is that a big deal? You see all of these red dots? These are all of the major power plants in Florida. 14 of them. If you look at the track, and let's see if I can bring this up here. I had kind of a Google Earth deal. If you look at the track, they should really call this the I-4. The I-4 hurricane or the blackout hurricane, because that's what it's going to be. Now, this track has it going, coming in just south of Tampa, uh, south of Orlando, and smacking right into the Space Coast. If it tracks north, you've got Crystal River Power Plant here. You've got um, another nuclear power plant down here if it tracks south. But right through the heart of the state, right through the heart of the state, there are 14 or, 15, 14 or 15, really. Florida Power and Light St. Lucie down here is a nuclear plant. Crystal River up here is a nuclear plant. One way or the other, one of them is going to get hit. And right through the middle. This is where all the power generation occurs in Florida. Now, this, this is very, very rare. Florida Maquis, we've had hurricanes before. Yeah, some of them come up. Like there was um, Hurricane Matthew that came up, and it kind of skirted the East Coast, but it didn't affect anything in the middle. And then there was you know, one that came in this way, and it, it took out a lot of stuff down here in the Southwest, but it left things in the Northeast okay. And, of course, a lot of them have slammed into the Panhandle. Not a whole lot of power generation up here. Just a lot of lines. But the actual source of the power basically runs the I-4 corridor from St. Pete to Daytona. And this thing is set to track right over every single one of these major power plants in Florida. And when these things go down, the actual power generation stations go down. Usually it's an issue with just getting lines up. 
Usually it's just an issue with getting the lines back up. It's not a problem with the actual generation of the power. It's getting the power to the houses. Well, if you have a major four hurricane hit Tampa Electric, Tico, Osprey, Duke, Stanton, DeBerry, Indian River, and basically cut the state in two, mark my words, there's going to be an issue not with just getting the lines up. It's going to be getting the power plant functioning again. And with this amount of water, that's going to be a problem. That's we meaning this amount of water, meaning the, the water we already have standing everywhere. Just because it's been raining. It's raining right now. And it's been raining since last night. And I'm way up on the northeast coast of Florida, up between Daytona and St. Augustine. So once again, let me reiterate, get cash, get it now, get gas, a lot more than what you think you need, triple it, whatever you think you need, water, whatever you think you need, food, whatever you think you need, whatever, toilet paper, triple it, triple it, and you don't need a, you don't need a giant generator, I mean, if you want to run your whole house, I guess. You don't need a giant generator to run one air conditioner. And believe me, in a power outage, just having one room, just having one room with air conditioning in it will make things a thousand times better. So a small air conditioner for one room, an affordable generator, but plenty of gas for it. And I'm showing it this way because this is all outside. Don't run them in your garage. Put them on the porch. Ventilate them, believe me. When the power goes out for a day, it's annoying. When the power goes out for two days, it's more than annoying. When the power goes out for a weekend, now you're at the point of, okay, this is ridiculous. If the power goes out for a week, there's going to be major issues with people's health. And this hurricane, very rare, very, very rare that you see one go directly west to east like this. Now, I know there's like, what about that hurricane that, that, that came in and hit the, the southern? It did. It came and it, it hit the southern, southwestern part of Florida and it tracked, it came ashore here and then it just kind of crossed right over down around, um, I guess, what you call this north of, what, of Melbourne that region of Florida, but it missed the entire I-4 corridor. It missed the I-4 corridor completely. This thing's going to smack right into it. And Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater, Orlando, the Villages, Kissimmee, all that area, and then Cape Canaveral, it's all the power plants. It's all the actual power generation stations in Florida that this thing's going to hit. That's going to be the problem. That's going to be the issue. Now, I have this for this video set for here at the main channel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the backup channel and we are going to, and be, be aware, I'm going to put the link here as well as soon as I get it up. Um, governor's briefing took place about an hour or two ago, and I know a lot of people are used to the uh, superlative language that's used with these storms, but this one's going to be an issue. Floridians can usually bounce back in a matter of, you know, a few days or a week from these things. If the, if the plants go down, and we have issues with nuclear power plants going down, that's going to be more than a few weeks. So, once again... Thank you, everyone who joined us over at the Florida Monkey Patreon channel. God bless all of you. It's making a huge, huge difference in my life. It really, really is. I can't say thank you enough. I'm doing the very, very best I can to put top-level content over there. Content that you would expect you would have been able to see without all of the censorship. So join us. QR code here, middle of your screen, upper right hand here, should make it real easy. Take your, take your right where you need to go. 
and then you can make whatever decision you want. But God bless all of you and pray for us here in Florida because I know they're having a battle up in the Carolinas and they're out of power too and praying for them. It's uh, going to be something I think that's going to sneak up even on Floridians, which is a hard thing to do. Very, very hard thing to do. Um, we normally have very, very good plans in place. Even with our very, very good plans, this is going to be a heavy lift. This is going to be a major heavy lift. So that's why I'm just saying. One mistake I think a lot of people make in prepping is they try to prep and plan for a way to have their life be seamless. Meaning they use giant generators that want to run the whole house and basically keep everything up and going. And those things eat gas like crazy. And they're like, well, you know, it's only for a day or two. If it's for a week or 10 days, you're going to need to be a little bit more judicious with your usage. So a small air conditioner for one room, small air conditioner, use a lot less gas and make the gas you have last a lot longer. And if anything is open, they're not going to have any ability to ring things up, so to speak. You might find some places that will, however, deal in cash. So when you get your cash, get yourself some fives and ones and quarters and dimes and nickels and pennies too. So they might not be able to make change at some of these places. So if you have exactly what you need, you're good to go. Once again, west, directly west to east, moving hurricane, starting in Tampa, leaving out over the space coast. If it wiggles north, Crystal River nuclear plant right here could get hit if it wiggles south. St. Lucie nuclear plant here could be in direct line of fire, Category 3, 4-ish hurricane. So, once again, I'll show you the map. You zoom in here, you can see there's a lot more than what you can see zoomed out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, all these major power plants. I'm not hearing anybody talk about this. That's why I had to say it. So once again, um, over at the Florida Maquis Alpha site, the backup channel, we're going to do the, the governor's briefing that he did about an hour or two ago, and you'll have the ability to uh, go there and check that out. So I will leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.